Hi Red Thread Sisters, this is Safa here and there were some questions today about scrubby brushes. I'm at the gallery as you can see behind me. Um, so I ran down to Mary Artist and she gave me about five or six brushes to share with you to do a little demo with. So um, welcome and hopefully nobody comes through that door in the next minute or two. I'm going to move my computer, don't get dizzy. And I'll see if we can get this recorded real quick. So the ones she gave me were the Zens. This is the white one. It's pretty stiff, as you can see. Um, they're about a quarter inch, half inch, about a half inch wide. And the other one, the brown one, is a lot softer. I think both of them would work for acrylic. Again, about that quarter inch size. I think they both would work pretty good with acrylic. The other one that she has was a Connoisseur Taclon Scrubber. It's an angled brush, again, about the same size. Um, this one is very, very stiff. So if you're working on paper, this one might tear your paper. But if you're working on canvas, this one should work pretty good as well. I personally like the filbert-shaped ones, the ones that are a little bit more um, domed for my work. So I've got some paint that I have here on my box for lunch because it was handy. And I'm just going to play a little bit and kind of show you what, what these will do. So this is was the white one. It's now the orange one. Um, as you see, it scrubs out pretty good. And I'm working on just some cheap watercolor paper right here. And I am not getting it to scrub through the paper very much. So it's soft enough. It's not going to damage your paper if you're working on paper. Let's pull some color out over here. So this one is one of my favorites. Um, I think I've got this one in my acrylic stash and the other one's in my watercolor stash. Um, here is the, I'll do this with a little blue. This is the reddish colored one. And yes, it's much softer, add a little water to that. So this would work too for scrubbing. You can see how this one's giving me a little bit more texture, a little bit softer so it's not going down in the, cracks and crevices as much as it would if I was on a canvas. So this is a nice one too. Again, I use this one for watercolor and this one pretty much for my acrylic. Uh, I also have this Taclon one that um, is the sh angle shader that I use for watercolor, but I find this one will tear my paper if I'm scrubbing too much with it. So let's do a little bit of shading here. kind of play in a little bit. You can see how I can really blend with this one. Works pretty good. Again, these are um, called scrubbers, both of these, all three of these. And they're working pretty good. Any really stiff acrylic brush will work for this. Um, so depending on what your preference is, but these are really nice because they are made to scrub. They're, they're short bristled, so that makes the difference on, on the scrubby part. Some people cut bristles on old brushes. That works too. I also, I also have some kids' brushes that I'll use to scrubby with because they're, they're pretty sturdy. So the other brush that I was pretty excited about when I got over there was this one that I found. And it is also the Zen Royal... Lang, and I'm not going to try that one. It's a number 12. It's about one inch wide. Nice, soft bristles. A little stiffer than a watercolor would be. Don't know if you can hear that twanging. But this one I'm really excited about. This one might go in my arsenal at home. Again, it's stiff enough to do some scrubbing with, um, but it's got that nice filbert tip on it. that you can um, do some nice round shapes with as you're working. But I think even this one would work for some scrubbing. It is a little softer. You can see how it's bending down as I put pressure on it. But I think this one would be a good scrubby brush too. Um, but again, these ones, because they're so stiff, especially the white one, is going to give you a little more scrubability, especially if you're um, blending colors and stuff. That works really good. So let's see if I can make some wonderful browns here with this orange and green, orange and, excuse me, blue. Oh yeah, kind of a funny brown. 
But you can see as I come out here how I can get a pretty dry scrub with this one. This is the was the brown one, the softer one. So yeah, I could get some pretty good scrubbies with this. Again, it's only a quarter inch wide, so it's not going to cover a lot of area. And let's go into, this is the white one. So I think if I were um, buying one of these scrubbies for my acrylic work, I do think I would buy the white one. It is a little stiffer and gives me a little bit more um, scrubability. So that's my take on this project and a nice muddy mess I made with those three colors. By the way, the acrylic I'm using is a tube paint, a very inexpensive tube paint. So your, um, your wonderful golden stuff is going to scrub a little bit differently than what you're seeing here. But I think that this one, the um, white one, is my favorite for acrylic. Um, again, this is the number eight. And the other size they have in these is, these are the other two she gave me. They're much smaller. This is um, a two and a six. So two, stay, two, a six. This one's the eight. Come back. Okay. The eight, that one was the white one. Let me wash it off and see if how clean it gets. Okay, it's a little whiter. And the other gray one is the 10. So that's what she gave me to play with. And then of course this nice great big puppy that I'm going to probably have a lot of fun with. Um, these are all about anywhere from $3 to $5. They're very inexpensive. So even if you do get something like this and scrub it to death, you know, in six months, it's well worth the $3. So that's my take on scrubby brushes for today. Again, if you want to grab a stiff acrylic brush and cut the end off, that works too. But um, that was fun. Good to see you. Hi, ladies. Enjoy your painting and have a great afternoon. Thanks.